Yo, everyone, good morning. Good morning, everyone. We are live. I believe everything should be good. Let me let me just check. Hold up. I actually hate the stream delay. I'm I'm a, I'm a definitely try and fix that, cause I have no idea how to fix the the stream delay. I do know there is a delay, but I have no idea how to fix it. I definitely got to do research in figuring out how you fix the stream delay. Definitely, but so far today is looking quite bad. I will not lie to you guys, like. Yeah, nothing, nothing really looks too good at all. We definitely gonna have to be patient today. I believe there is news at 10 a.m. I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, shit, my Wi Fi ain't working. Hold up, yeah, everything. <clears throat> Hey, yo, yo, how you doing? Okay. Um, I believe your name is what? Tan? Your... I can't say that. <laughs> I cannot say that. Let's see. Um, there is a NAS demand happening literally like right now, but I think I'm good on it. There's a high probability demand. But there's a little bit of a risk to it. You can see how low we are. I mean, that does kind of make it good, though, that we, we push down during London session. And now we're getting a, a really good demand in New York session. But I just hopped on the charts. I literally have not even done any analysis. I just got out of school, came home, made food. And then we hopped on. Actually, it looks like, looks like there's a one-hour supply that we came from. So I think I'm, I'm good on that. And there's a lot of gaps to fill. So I don't, I don't really see this demand holding i think we might actually just blow right through it um, let's let's delete this <clears throat> did you bust out 1.5k from accounts nah bro i'm in drawdown <laughs> what, what do you mean by bust out i haven't withdrawn anything like because of this prop firm shitty rules i was up like two percent at the beginning of the challenge and then yeah March was not great and April has also been terrible for me. So I've been on a pretty big losing streak, but you know what it is what it is. It's all just a learning thing. I'm not I'm not even that I'm not even that like what's the word? I'm not even that What's the word? Hmm. I'm not really even that sad if I end up blowing this account. It, it's honestly just a, a learning a learning phase for me 100 percent there's been things that i've done kind of wrong in in taking like as in taking setups like definitely at the beginning of the challenge i was taking like quality setups and then in the middle of march everything started going bad and then i was taking pretty like the market conditions weren't great and then i wasn't taking the most quality setups, so i definitely did drop and and lost quite a bit but look at uj it had a one plus five picture perfect setup but i missed it no way Drakey. no way let's pull up uj i'm i'm actually gonna do research on uj like um uj uj loki you what you be saying Drakey? i'm gonna take your word off it i think you be saying uh uj is pretty solid are you talking about this supply here Drakey? Oh, what else? No, it can't be that. It could be that. I think it... Damn! Damn! Crazy momentum. Nas might actually be holding out of this demand. Loki, but I don't know about it. Bro, is there news? Hello? <laughs> is there UJ news? What? 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 What the? Yo, 
Yeah, that's the one check on the one minute. The one minute. I need to look on trading view because that does not look. That looks a little bit messy. Uh, messy. Let me let me check the one minute on trading view real quick. Oh, oh, I see what. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. So you could have gotten that breaker candle here, got your one to two, then it came all the way back. Okay, I see. I see what you're saying, Drakey. So let me. Let me do this rather. Let's let me go over to trading view. Okay, we good. So this was the one minute setup, but if you go to the five minutes, so that was the supply. Actually, that was the supply on the five minute. You go to the one minute, and the first breaker candle entry on the one minute was that, and you would have had stops way a little bit above, something like that, maybe two pip stop, and you could have gone for. Damn, that that actually held, but it did come back into the zone and dropped even more. But I have no idea what's happening now. It's dropping with. Wait, why is it dropping like that? <laughs> actually, yeah, nah. I don't know. I don't know. There was. Let's see. Was it a Friday? There's no news except for at ten a.m. Well, for me, four p.m. I, I honestly, I don't know what happened. UJ just actually died, but it's got a big react. Uh, oh, it grabbed liquidity. Looks like it's grabbing liquidity as well now. I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to wait and and see what what else today brings. But that that, that drop on UJ was unexpected. Yeah, Nas broke out of the demand. Wasn't hopeful on that. GU, GU ain't doing anything really. GJ also dropped. Hmm. Looks like we might have actually we could we, we looks like we created a nice supply on GJ at the moment. Yeah, that that's a solid supply considering that we're just dropping on everything. That's a very nice supply. Let's see. Let's see. I wonder if we have a one minute zone and there's one minute. There's a there's also a one minute supply inside of that so that's probably probably gj looks the best that's probably what we're gonna wait on so there's that one minute supply inside of it let's see <clears throat> rj fit uh rjk fitness nash reacted from four hour supply and one hour yeah i saw that's why that's why i wasn't really confident in the nas demand it's because of the supply up there which still looks like it's going to continue down and filling gaps Did NAS leave behind a supply or nothing? No, nah, it's all actually the high probability. Yeah, okay. So NAS left behind a supply right up here. So there's a supply. That's high probability. We got a gap. Let's check the one minute. <clears throat> Hold up, I'm just checking something real quick. I'm going to be with you guys now. Um, okay, all good. Okay, let's check if NAS has a one minute supply inside of it okay no nasa nasa is just a regular five minute supply so that is something we could wait for if it gives us a nice breaker structure we've got to close below this low here then we would be pretty good gj is also looking solid check us study if it's gonna leave anything behind 
US 30. Yeah, US 30 also left behind a supply up there. So we've actually got a, a few things. Loki at the moment we got we got a few things that we can wait on. We've definitely got a few things we can wait on. Also, US 30 is also just a regular five minutes supply. <clears throat> so we've got three setups that actually look pretty good. Best right now would be GJ if it gets back up there. Okay, maybe I think GU also could have left something behind. Let's see. What problem uh, do you use? I use Quantic Trading. You can go, I have a video about it if you want to go and check it out. It is on my channel. I think, nah, G, GU looks low probability by the looks of it. Yeah, GU is low probability. So we got, we got three supplies at the moment. I'm hoping that we can end up holding. Definitely hoping we can end up holding. Or even getting back to one of them because everything's dropping right now. Literally, literally, everything's dropping at the moment. morning bro what do you think about nas demand what nas demand on the one hour what are you talking about on the one hour definitely not on the five minute uh -huh. i ain't taking that on the five minute at all no i'm, I'm good i'm definitely good on that 
if we're talking about the five minute one now nah, I'm, I'm cool but there is a one hour demand which which i think it might be the same as the five minute same candle maybe not the same candle but it's the same thing but if you look at it we're coming from a one hour supply that is actually reacting quite a bit and we have a bunch of gaps still below so i think we're probably going to blow right through this demand and then maybe hold on the second one here and i believe there's also a four hour supply but i guess it's already reacted off of the four hour supply this news pretty sure this was a news can already reacted off the supply so we just gotta wait and see and there's still this big gap on the four hour but if you're talking about the one hour no. <clears throat> i'm cool on that. i'm definitely cool on that I like, I like GJ. I already said this, but I like GJ a lot. GJ looks... <sighs> GJ looks definitely the best. <clears throat> I just gotta do something real quick. Just give me a second. Did you get a payout? Nah, I didn't. <clears throat> I would have been able to, but this prof firm has really bad rules. So, yeah. I was up 2% at the beginning of the challenge, and then March and April have been um, very bad uh, for, for me. Not only for me, though. Also, other people trade supply them on or five minutes supply them on but yeah, it is what it is us 30 multi just caught 60 pips holy damn yeah i know us 30 dropped a lot dropped a lot there i have, I have a supply marked up that supply looks pretty solid Okay, I think I'm finished. Okay, I think I think we good. I think we good. I just need to do something for someone real quick. 
Okay. The odds we even get a pullback to any of our zones, I just have a feeling that everything is just going to continue pushing down. I'm hoping for a pullback. I think, I think Nas is actually about to give break a candle. Uh, did it tap the five minute demand? Okay, I don't like the way this looks at all, but I just want to see if it ends up actually respecting or, or giving break a candle. But I don't like that demand at all. Let's check what I wonder what AU is doing. Okay, AU AU's also got a supply at the moment that looks pretty good. On the five minute, it looks actually no, it's not even it's not even the best supply. It's not okay supply. Let's check maybe like EU. EU's also got nothing. Like everything looks pretty trash. This this week has been pretty trash. UJ. Nah, what is my what is my brother playing? I swear that that, that guy. Um, there's a UJ supply. We can definitely. I'm, I'm gonna definitely put UJ up. I guess just to watch for today. It looks like it's actually getting a little bit of a pullback. Yeah, it usually definitely has a valid supply that that's sitting up top there. Let's see, what about UCAD? UCAD's got nothing as well. Yeah, today today we gotta be patient just the same as yesterday. Yesterday I didn't even take a trade. Because everything just looked terrible after news yesterday. Even before news, there was literally nothing good. I wonder, yeah, I'm looking at the charts right now from yesterday, still nothing happened the whole day yesterday. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna go tell my brother to turn it down because the shit he's playing is so loud. Turn it down! What are you doing? Why is it on
I we back. We back, we back, we back. Oh shit, wrong thing. Camera. There we go. Alright, we back. Yeah, everything's just shredding. Today also just looks like another day of being very patient. I swear, today I'm cutting my day in, in half. If we don't get a trade by like 10 a.m. Actually, no, there's news at 10 a.m. Okay, never mind. We're we, we, we waiting the whole day today as well. Can I not? I hate when this does. I hate Metatrader. Metatrader is actually so bad. I was doing some testing on on C Trader. C Trader is actually such a clean platform. Like I was doing a bunch of testing on on C Trader. C Trader looks clean, but I need to get another challenge then or pop from account if I want to trade on C Trader. <coughs> There's actually nothing. Like everything looks so bad. <sighs> like I haven't. I don't even have a, an understanding why everything. Why everything is moving so weird lately? Like I, I don't understand why. Like maybe maybe Q one I kind of understand because it's Q one everyone's getting ready to to start trading in twenty twenty four, but now we in Q two the second week now and everything's still moving just as bad like especially Nas 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 is moving horrendously, like this is just pure consolidation G U. Let's check the four hour. Okay, I guess the four hour looks okay. It's just moving. It's actually just dropping at the moment. GJ four hour. What are we doing? Trade locker, bro, the best. I've seen trade locker. My friends trading at, at school. My friends trading. You are using trade locker with funding pips. Um. Isn't it, trade lock is literally just trading view, trading view, but you can over. But I like the way I like the way C Trader looks. Like let me let me actually pull up C Trader. We we can we can pull up C Trader since since we have nothing better to do. Hold up. Um. Let's see how we can do this. Like I'm gonna just show you guys why I like C Trader. C C Trader is literally the best platform in in my opinion. Okay, there we go. We just opened it. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. How how do we do this now? Let's go like this. Properties Safari. What would it be called? No. Why can I not find this? I swear, MacBook is MacBook is so nice, but sometimes they make they make everything so complicated. Like, oh, and also, this actually looks pretty good. I just saw this. GJ is coming off a four-hour supply. That actually looks pretty solid. That's probably probably why everything is dropping so crazily, or why uh, GJ is dropping so crazily. But it's definitely, yeah, everything's been moving pretty trash. Let's see how I do this. C Trader. What is it called? <sighs> this is so annoying. Can 
Wait, I wonder, I wonder if we do this. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's do, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Let's see. Put this up here. Give me this. Let's switch. Okay, wait. Way, bro. No. Application. There we. Okay. Okay. We got it to work. Did we? No. It's still not working. I actually give up. Come on. I, I give up. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just take that away. Screw what I'm trying to do. But I definitely like C Trader a lot more than MetaTrader. And then also I guess I guess Trade Lock is also pretty good. Um, let me just fix this and then Oh no, now I can't even Now this isn't even working. Um Hold up, I just gotta get the screen back. Shit, I messed I messed it up. I messed everything up. Um Okay. There there we go. Okay, that should be that should be good now. I need to just add my face cam back. do now no man what did I do now fuck Okay, there we go. Okay, we should be back. <clears throat> Fred, yo, is there any setup I missed? Nope. <laughs> Fred, you missed nothing. <laughs> You've missed nothing. There's, there's been absolutely nothing happening. It's actually, it's actually like, it's actually so bad that we're moving like this. I want, I want to try one thing. Let's, I want to try one thing. Hold up. Um, let's do this. I've seen it before. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, never mind. It's not working. I've seen something that you can do. I saw it on like Instagram reels. I know. I know how to do it. I've done it before, where you can use my phone as a face cam. It actually looks pretty sick. But I forgot how to to set it all up. Yeah, actually, that might be it. Hold up, I actually might be able to. I, I want to figure this out. I'm actually. I'm so bored of sitting here. Okay. 
go here. Go OK. No, now it's not working. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, it's not gonna work. <sighs> Just got back from vacation. I feel alive after going to the beach. Going to the beach is, is, is actually so nice. Yeah, that, that's where I like going. Actually, I, I live pretty close to the beach. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, I live, I live relatively close to the beach. It's like a five-minute drive, but to walk to... Actually, no, that's not why. It's probably like a like a ten-minute drive to the beach. And then, like, an hour walk. So I actually live pretty close to the beach, but going to the beach is actually so nice. I actually haven't gone in a while, but it, it's, it's winter where I'm at, so... It's kind of cold. It's peaceful at the beach. All right. I think GU might create another supply or create its only supply. Yeah, we just got we just got break a structure on this. Let's see. Yeah, we, we might we might have just yeah we got break a structure very very weird break a structure, and let's just see if it closes valid though. The supply update is low probability, so I'm I'm not looking at that. I honestly don't think anything else is actually going to even pull back. Like, we've been dropping for way too long now. I think we might just continue, continue on down. <clears throat> Where'd you go to vacation, Fred? GU looks low though. I mean, everything is low. E everything has been dropping for a while. I honestly, I don't think we're getting a pullback. Everything's extremely low. I, I honestly just think we're going to continue dropping. Let's see, if it, if it taps with this candle being printed now, then it's invalid. So, yeah. What news was on Wednesday? It was CPI news, yeah. After, after CPI news, everything is dropped. Like, all the pairs I trade... After CPI news, everything has just dropped. Like, let me pull up trading view. You guys can see. Like, it's. Oh no, I gotta re add that real quick. be good okay if we, if we just look at it let's start on on that actually i think well nas nash dropped but then made a recovery after cpi so cpi news was on on wednesday um and then on gu if we just look at it cpi news came everything just continued dropping gj cpi news came everything's just been dropping same thing on us 30 after uh, cpi news on wednesday ruined everything
It's still in my country. The city name is Lam. I don't know how to say that. I won't lie to you, Fred. Yeah, I know you. You said you live in Philippines. I think I remember. Or was Indonesia? Well, Indonesia is just yeah. I'm looking to travel. Well, actually, I think I am traveling to Indonesia, but most likely Philippines at the end of this year. Okay, G G U is invalid. Yeah, G G is invalid. So, at the end of this year, we me and my my one boy and my closest friend, we were supposed to go to Europe and travel, but everything's kind of exp expensive there, especially since we're like so young. But we we're supposed to go there, and then we we're like, now nah, this is this is too expensive for for us at the moment, and then we we're like, okay, let's let's look at some other cheaper places or places where our currency and their currency are pretty much similar. So then we looked at uh, places around Indonesia, and that's most likely where we're gonna go, because <laughs> it's pretty much the same. Everything should cost or be around the same as in my country. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm gonna go travel for like two months. I'll probably vlog it all as well. Come to the Philippines, bro. Uh, bro, that's where we're probably gonna travel to. The Philippines is like it, it looks so nice there from from what I've from what I've seen and done research on. It looks it looks nice there. What stock exchange opens in fifteen minutes as well? Let's see what happens. But yeah, I'm definitely we we, we still need to look and we gotta we gotta book our tickets, plane tickets, because that's the expensive thing. Is is the plane ticket to Philippines or Indonesia? But then after that, after we have the ticket, I think everything's going to be pretty nice. <laughs> Let's see, we could be getting a uh, retracement. I'm hoping it looks like on GJ, we might be getting a little retracement back up. What's the account balance now? Can you guys not see the account balance? You can. The account balance is what twenty three thousand five hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy cents. So I'm down like what? What is that? Six percent? I think a little bit over six percent. I've been. This is like the worst losing streak I've ever been on. Like, Q one. This Q one was the the worst trading. The worst trading period for me q1 of 2024 has been the worst trading period for me in my entire two years of trading not even last year was this, but like last year i was unprofitable i remember in 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 q1 overall but it was not as bad as this like setups were at least still hitting i was just taking really bad setups i was still taking low probability setups back back in last year so this year has just been absolutely terrible like th this year has been, this year's definitely been something else. This year's definitely been something else. I need to get a face cam. I actually that that's something I need to get because I I use my MacBook's face cam, but it's not like the best face cam. I I need I need to get a, fa a face cam. Definitely switch strategy um i think oh cool i think it's just it's just supply and demand it's been 
Okay, I'm not gonna switch my strategy all because we had one bad Q1. Just because we had one bad Q1. Like, if we have Q2, and if Q2 is still terrible with five minutes behind one, then I think it's time to maybe look for something else because supply and amount or regular five minutes behind amount is not hitting. But just because we had, what, two months that was terrible on five minutes behind amount does not mean the strategy just doesn't work anymore. And it's not just uh, supply and demand. There's other strategies that also have not been hitting. And the market conditions haven't been the greatest as well. So that's probably another reason why something's, why other stuff isn't holding. Like, look at NAS. NAS has been consolidating for the whole month right now. It's been consolidating since... Um, it's been consolidating since the beginning of March. What are, I think... Has US study also been? Um... Not really, I guess. No, your, your study was not. It, it was mainly just NAS. We're going to NAS on the 4 hour. Like, this is terrible price action. All of this is just terrible price action. Everything else was, was moving okay. Just fi regular finance fund was not hitting. So, yeah. Switch to... Oh, no way. Uh, damn. You was to wait and withdraw uh, that prop at the first day uh with the rules on this platform you can't you have to have th this consistency rules and you can uh, you can only withdraw after 30 days you can only withdraw after 30 days of, of trading on the account so i had to wait either way and i was just like you know what i'm not going to sit and wait i might as well just trade normally and then see how it goes but every everything went terrible after that actually I feel like it was actually only March that was bad. Like the beginning, of, actually, like maybe the last three weeks of March. Like the the first week of March was pretty solid, but then after that, it's been terrible. Like February wasn't also that bad. There were two weeks, that were the beginning two weeks of February was trash, but the other two weeks was okay, and Jan was also pretty pretty solid for me. Uh, switch to liquidity supply and demand. I'm I'm cool. I'm, I'm definitely cool. <clears throat> if regular five minute demand doesn't keep holding in like Q2, maybe even look at swing trading because, because maybe I'm even gonna look at swing trading, like tr trading on the one hour or like the four hour because next year, Next year, I have a lot of plans. Like, I, I'm, I'm finished school next year, so I gotta go do and do something. I'm still gonna continue to trade and stuff. Like, the, the trading will never, I, I will damn. Trading, I will always do, no matter what I, what I end up deciding to do, or like, after school. Like, I'm gonna go work at the job. I'm gonna go work full time and still trade. Maybe not full time, but I'll definitely have to look trade as well um and maybe maybe go study and then work on a cruise ship like there's a few things that i can do that i just gotta wait on so maybe maybe even swing switching to swing trading isn't even the worst thing to do because i'd be able to pretty much still do other stuff and then trade and i just swing trade Why are you hating on liquidity supply and demand? It's literally supply and demand, but just a better way, a, a better way, better R on a uh, higher win rate. I'm not hating on liquidity supply and demand. If it works for you, it works for you. I just, I just don't like it. But also, if I had to switch to swing trading, um, liquidity, uh, swing trading is, if there's always going to be liquidity in front of a zone. Like, let's look for an, ex an example. Like, if I, let's say I swing traded and I ended up taking this demand here, there would have been liquidity right here. So, swing trading is pretty much like liquidity is fine. Mark. And there's actually, there's a four hour demand. I just randomly found one. It's just a four hour demand, but then there's liquidity sitting there. We grabbed the liquidity, pushed up. Like, swing trading is just liquidity is fine. Mark. So, there was another one here. 
I think those ended up holding. Yeah, they ended up holding liquidity right there. Like I might might as well just switch to swing trading in, instead of scalping. Because I, I mean, swing trading will definitely be way more beneficial in the long run for me if I decide to like want to do other things and not only trade. <clears throat> Because trading is literally just a way to grow your capital. That that's what trading is. Well, that's what trading is for me. I like I don't want to be trading for the rest of my life. Like by twenty, by like twenty five, I don't want to be trading anymore. I want to have made enough or as much money as I can, and then invest into other things. That's definitely my plan. But we honestly just got to see what happens. And get profitable first. But that's why I've just been thinking maybe maybe swing trading could be the answer to that. You feel me? Definitely just got to see what happens. But I might actually do a little bit of research into into swing trading. Hit my boy Juicy up. Because I know he swing trades the four hour. So definitely speak with him. Like maybe, maybe occasionally I'd still be able to like scalp. But it won't be like an everyday thing. I think Juicy swing trade supply and demand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he swing trades four hours supply and demand. I think, uh, and I spoke to him, I spoke to him about it a while ago. I think at the beginning of this year, he said he swing trades with another confidence. I think it was Fibs. It, so it's supply and demand, and then it's Fibs as well. So. I need to speak to him about that and definitely see. Because I'm pretty sure he's been like five months profitable now trading the strats or whatever he trades. When I was speaking to him at the beginning, or it was in Feb, I don't really remember exactly when I was speaking to him. But yeah. I cursed the pullback on the five minutes and GJ was looking so good. It was, it was pulling back and then I spoke about it and now uh, we're we'll pushing back down. And there's news in 25 minutes. Okay, so there's, we, got, we got stock exchange open in four minutes. I'm hoping that NAS and US30 have some volume and then we got USD news at... We got US. Oh, we got USD news at ten. Yeah, I low-key low think swing trading might be worth it. I might, I might actually just switch to that eventually. Maybe not this year, but maybe definitely next year. Because just thinking about it realistically in my head, let's say I start working next year, I go get a job, or I just work almost full-time at the job I'm at now. I wouldn't really have time to swing trade. I mean, sculpt. But I'd have time to swing trade, and if you get swing trading down, then you're pretty much chilling. Like, scalping requires a lot of time and energy and effort. I'm not saying swing trading doesn't, but I feel like 
swing training would just be you find a good setup you set your limits bro and then you just wait for it to hit I'm definitely gonna look into that. Definitely gonna look into. I'm gonna speak to Juicy. Yeah, once I'm profitable. What do you mean once you're profitable? To swing trade once you're profitable, or just switch to swing trading? more free time exactly I, w I wouldn't say free time like as in you're not going to do anything like i'm going to do something else with my time instead of spending four hours a day instead of spending four hours a day trying to sculpt and then still getting faked out i might as well just switch to something where i set a limit and then wait for it to hit I might as well just do that. And I'm going to be training the exact same thing. I'm going to be training like four hours plan one. I'm just not going to be sculpting at the charts. Uh, set and forget for swing training. Yeah, that's exactly what swing training is. You just set your limits and forget about it. I am trying to make my own strat to swing, but I don't know where to start. I'm just testing random stuff on FX replay currently. I see you. I see you. I see you, Drakey. I've also, I, I'm definitely going to speak to Juicy and, and see what he says. And then maybe I'm going to start learning the strat he uses because he's five months profitable. Like, like let, let's go back, okay? So I met Juicy. When was it? When did I start the Discord? Wait, hold up, hold up. When did when did we start the Discord? Um, okay, when can I see when it was started? Let's just, let's just go back all the way in announcements. Okay, okay. So it was in May of last year we started the Discord. So May May of last year we started the Discord. So I think it was in April. I probably met Juicy. So I met Juicy because he was streaming. I clicked on YouTube by accident and then saw Juicy was streaming, right? Then I was like, oh shit, he's trading supply and one just like me. Well, the same way Doyle does. And I was like, okay, let me hit him up. Then I hit him up on Instagram. And then I also started my channel at the time and I probably had like four, 500 subs. Actually, no, I probably had less. I think Juicy had more than me at the time when I, when I joined his live. I think, I think maybe he had like 300 and I had like 200 at the time. Like this was way, way, way long ago. And then he was sculpting until... I believe, I'm going to take a wild guess, I don't know the exact dates, but he was sculpting until like the end of 2023, like maybe 20, uh, maybe, I think maybe September of 2023, he was sculpting and then he was like, okay, sculpting, five minute is just not working for me. Five minutes, five round is just not working for me. Then he switched it up and he went to the four hour and now he's been profitable for like five months in a row. So it was like... And he also had, he also he got payouts and shit from from sculpting. Like I remember he got his first payout from sculpting as well. Um, but now I'm pretty sure he's doing way better on on swing trading. Uh, swing trade once I'm profitable. Why not just get profitable on swing trading? <clears throat> What's his YouTube channel? Uh, he doesn't post anymore. But let me let me check what it is exactly. He, do, he doesn't post videos anymore or anything. Juicy FX. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, he, he doesn't post anything anymore. Um, oh, there's videos of him how he trades his, his four-hour strat. Yeah, there's a bunch of vids of how he trades his four-hour strat. But I think you, let me see. Um, okay, yeah, I think you can see a little bit. His name's just Juicy FX. And then it's like that. It, it should come up with it. Okay. Juicy FX. That, that's his YouTube. You can go check him out. He doesn't post anymore. Um, but definitely go see what he's saying. We should do a call with Juicy. Yeah. We. I mean, we guess we could. I, I guess we could. I definitely guess we could. Yeah. Mm-mm. <clears throat>
because I don't think I don't think I mean sculpting is good. I know sculpting is good, but uh, I feel like swing training would just work better for me in the future. Like I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do after school. I don't know what I'm gonna do after school. So I, I definitely gotta see and and wait. Can I quickly interrupt everyone? Everyone, please, please like the stream. Like the stream for me, please. It takes you it takes you one second. Just click on the like button real quick. If you if you're in stream and, and feel like it, just just click the like button. Hey bro, you know me, yeah, vintage wine. I know you, bro. You you you've been in the chat quite a bit. You've been in the chat quite a bit. Oh, this is stock exchange open. My bad. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. This is this is stock exchange open, but we got no volume. USD JPY give the movement keep watch. Let's see what UJ is doing. Oh, but I don't trade UJ. I don't I don't trade UJ. Well, let me let me open magic keys real quick. Let me open magic keys real quick. Um, hold up. Okay, magic keys is good. I don't trade UJ, but that supply does look pretty solid. I'm definitely gonna wait on either that's not coming back i'm definitely gonna wait on gj on gj i'm waiting on i don't, I don't trade uj um i think that looks valid low-key that demand might look valid yeah that that demand's valid i actually i kind of like that just for quick scope so if if we get a tap into that demand that is valid just to take it up to the supply like then then I actually that, that that'd be something I'd probably take. Like we got a big gap there. It is very, very counter trend. But that does kind of make sense to take. Or we're just gonna have to end up waiting for the supply to tap. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, we, we got two potentials. Um, let's see, US 30. Nothing, nothing. Oh shit, what did I do? I closed GU. Let me reopen GU real quick. Oh no, I gotta fix everything. Just fix um, magic key. Wait, is magic keys good? Okay, magic magic keys is good. Down two what twenty three k? Oh, down to twenty three k. What happened? I'm on a massive losing streak, bro. Five minutes supply the mine has just been absolutely wrecking me at the moment. I won't lie to you. I've been I've been on a massive losing streak, so yeah, it, it's been kind of rough. A lot of drawdown and stuff like that. What time frame are you on? I'm on the five minute. I'm on the five minute chart. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think my face cam's blocking. Yeah, my my face cam's blocking. But yeah, I'm on the five. Oh, you can't even see that properly. Okay, but yeah, I'm on I'm on the five minute. I heard what you had to say about USD JPY, but can you just give your opinion if someone like me taking the trade like targets and stop loss? Oh, if I had to, if I had to take UJ, I'll tell you what I'd do. So obviously, I wait for it to tap the zone. Okay, let's, let's put up UJ so it, so it makes a little bit more sense. Let's put up UJ. Um, let's just. This. Okay, let's do that. So I wait for it to tap this five minute zone. Once it taps, 
I'd wait for the next candle to give break a candle. I get in that break a candle, get put my stops above the above the wick or the body of the candle that taps in, and then go for one to one or one to two. Maybe in this case or one to two for the gaps. Trust your back testing, you're gonna get this. I hope. Uh, I hope, I hope, we, I'm just being patient, it is what it is. <clears throat> Andres, have you thought about making your own strat, like put your own twist on supply and demand? Um, no, I have not. I've thought about swing trading, I'll be at 100, but I've thought about swing trading, Drakey, and, and switching to swing trading because um, scalping might just not be the thing for me. But... I haven't thought about creating like my own thing. I've definitely thought about just maybe going to like the four hour, for example, and just taking what we take, but on the four hour. Or maybe maybe a little bit different. I don't know. Uh, Cause I know I know Juicy uses fibs, so maybe maybe see what he does with the fibs, and then definitely look at it and see. I I don't know. I've never, I haven't thought about like creating my own thing though. But I think just where I am in life right now, that sounds deep, but yeah, okay. But I, everyone's going to go study next year. I'm the only one not going to go study. So like I've spoken to all my friends, like, like every single one of them, they're all applying for universities or colleges, whatever you call it. They're all applying. So I've got to get my shit together now. I'm going to go work at the job I work at now. I work at a coffee shop on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm definitely going to go work there a lot more during the weekend stuff and still trade and then maybe switch over to swing trading because that might fit me the best and then see. Um, NAS supply, uh, it's valid, but are we even going to get there? That's why I'm waiting on GJ. GJ looks like we could get there. I think swing trading is just going to fit me better next year. Swing trading is definitely going to fit me better. Instead of trying to spend like four hours. Actually, for scalping, I backtest Monday to Friday for an hour and a half. Then I'm on the charts from 1 30 in the afternoon until five what is that three and a half hours so that's already what five hours i'm on the charts and i probably spend a little bit more after afterwards so in total each day i'm probably spending six hours a day just to try and sculpt and, and perfect sculpting i feel like just switching to swing trading would be a lot less stressful uh, set and forget type thing just be patient wait on setups and maybe take like even when you swing trade you're probably only going to be taking like what, one to two trades a week maybe even less maybe like one trade a week if you swing trading like i feel like that would just fit way better I think GJ is like the only valid, um, the only valid supply on my on my four pairs. GJ, either this demand or the supply, whichever one we get to first. I take the if if I got tap into the demand, I definitely take it all the way up to the supply. If we get to the supply, I'd probably take it all the way down to the, to the demand, because I definitely want to go for maybe like a one to two, not just a one regular one to one. Because this account is struggling. I need like a really, really good trade.
I think GG looks good for us to get to, for us to get to, um, the supply. It's looking pretty solid. I feel like trading is all about controlling yourself as in life in general. 100% I agree with you. You got to be on top of all aspects in your life. And then control yourself when you get to trading. Make sure you doing the right things, following your plan, being disciplined. How long have you been trading? Um, I've been trading for exactly two years. April is two years. I'm supposed to actually make a video about my two year journey. I did it last year around this time, but I wanted to get like a live trading video out, but I have not been able to get a live trading video out because of the massive ass losing streak. And then, are you profitable? I am not. I, I, I got to, I got really close to profitability this year. Like, I, I was right there. And then, market conditions just definitely messed me over. Like, I was, I was getting really close. Like, January, I was profitable. Two weeks of February, I was profitable. Two weeks of March, I was profitable. Like, Mar I, February, in overall, was profitable. And then... Actually, no, yeah, it was profitable. Then March was March was a losing month. And then April has also just been a losing month so far. So I'm definitely not consistently profitable, but I can have profitable months and weeks. But just the past three weeks in total now, I've been unprofitable. Like, it's actually been hurting. Actually, it's probably been a month now. A month where it's just been consistent losses. That's why I'm in so much drawdown. Yeah, I think GJ is getting back to that supply. Um, I hope we actually tap there. I'm I'm tired. I wanna I need to go hit the gym now. It's chest and back today, so I'm I'm excited for that. So can this please hurry? Oh shit! And there's news now. Oh, I forgot about that, bro. I swear, if news actually messes up today, I'm closing the charts. If news messes up today, I'm closing the charts. I'm not even waiting. There's just no ways. Yeah, I just remembered. You're a real one. Keep going. I appreciate you, bro. I'm gonna I'm keep going. There's no quitting this journey. I, <laughs> after I spent way too much money, time, effort, energy into trading, I there's, it's not even worth me quitting at this point. For the past two years, I've probably put... Okay. Mm, for the last year, I've probably put like six... Okay, maybe, maybe even a little more, maybe like seven hours every single day on the charts. It's not even worth me quitting. I put like, okay, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe between five to seven hours every single day on the charts. It's not even me, it's not even worth me quitting. I might as well just stick it out and wait until I'm profitable. We have news in 15 minutes? Yeah, we do. If that messes it up, I'm just closing charts. But as I was saying, there's literally not even worth for me to quit. There's zero point for me to quit trading. So we just got to continue doing what we're doing and, and keep going. Um, GJ. GJ looks a bit. I'm going to close UJ just so I can have four charts on like that. And now we're going to chill. And hope we get a tap. What, 12 minutes till news now? Let's see what happens. Let's definitely see what happens.
maybe try add some uh, extra art conferences to survive them on it hasn't been working for months what extra conferences can i add though Everything I, I, I follow pretty much has all the confluences that I, I, unless I'm just thinking of something that I cannot add. I try and only take supply and demand when we're following trend, unless it makes sense. Follow higher time frame trend. EMAs. What are, what are my trading rules? I actually just went blank. Like, uh, we have a gap. We have to have a breaker structure. Like, what else can I look for? Maybe maybe only take supply and demands when there's higher time frame confluence. I, I, I really don't know. I need to probably look at it. But I, I think I'm more convinced or, or more ready to just switch over to swing trading than, than try and scalp. Or definitely look at swing trading a little bit more. Okay, let's see, uh, there's news in what, nine minutes now? Okay, let's see what happens. Well, I can't even take a trade, so if GJ taps anything, I have to wait till 10 minutes because of those prof firms rules. Um, so I can only take a t trade until 10 past 10. So we definitely still gotta wait. 20 minutes, I can only take a trade. I actually hate this prof firm. I, I, I hate the, I actually like, Like, uh, it's not even worth that I'm on a live account. Like, the rules are insane. I'm definitely never doing this again. And GG looks pretty solid. I'm gonna just go by my nose real quick. I can't breathe. I'm gonna be back now. Ugh. Okay, I'm back now. Just give me, give me a few seconds. I'm back. <sighs> Too much coke? But what? I'm not drinking coke. What are you talking about? <laughs> the other coke. He uses the 30 min. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about Mango? I, I don't know Mango switched to it. Um, uh, so it fits your desires to go swing trading. Uh, setup doesn't play out so nice. You don't have to be on the charts for hours. 
I get what you're saying, but if I had to go swing trading, I'm, I think I'm talking about either the four hour or the one hour. That that's what I mean by swing trading. That that's what I probably prefer. It's definitely swing trading, but I mean by on like the four hour, like holding trades for multiple days. That that's what I. Uh, that's what comes to my mind when I when I think of swing trading. Definitely. That's like the type of swing trading I would want to do if I had to switch to swing trading. It's definitely off of the four hour. Okay, we got news in five minutes now. Let's see, Nas actually could hopefully push up doing news. I'm gonna just get magic keys ready just in case something happens, but we still gotta wait 10 minutes until after news. Switch that, have stops, there we go. And then, yeah, okay, that should be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna have that set up in case um something happens during news and we gotta get in <clears throat> bro my phone gets so like greasy i swear my hands sweat so much <sighs> I always have to clean my phone. Damn. Okay. Yeah, Mango uses the liquidity finder mod. Also, you can check it out. I've watched Mango's video. I, I talk. I talk to Mango pretty often. Like I, I speak to Mango. I've been speaking to Mango like relatively often. Um, I I know how he trades and and which strategy trade trades, but if I had to go swing trading, definitely. Four hour, one hour. I'm I'm not interested in the thirty minute. I've I've never I've never really liked the thirty minute. I don't even have it like. I never look at the thirty minute. I've never liked the thirty minute. I'll definitely go one hour or four hour. That, that's the only two, I'd feel is, is pretty suitable for for me. Um. But yeah, I speak to Mango pretty often. <clears throat> He was actually the one who who told me I should start live streaming, low key, or not told me, but but said it's a good way to get monetized. Like if anyone's actually trying to get monetized, definitely start streaming. You get the most watch hours from from streaming. That that's part of the reason why I did start actually streaming, is because of the watch hours you get from streaming. Like that's he told me that's how you got monetized so quick because he was he was live streaming. I was like, oh damn, maybe I should try that. And I actually kind of enjoy live streaming. Like I, I used to live live stream. Like I've always loved, I've always loved live streaming. Like I used to live. <laughs> I don't even want to talk, talk about it, but bro, I used to I used to live stream on, I used to live stream on YouTube, back when when I used to jam Fortnite every day. When I used to play Fortnite, I used to stream, but I was actually doing good back then. And then I, I so far I went from streaming on YouTube, to streaming on Twitch. And then when I was streaming on Twitch, I actually did pretty good. I, I got what what's the it's Twitch affiliation, not not the big affiliation, but the one where you can um when you can have like subs and people sub to you for money. Like I got to there when I when I was streaming on Twitch. Um and then I kind of stopped that because I stopped playing video games and got more invested into trading. Um, but I, but I've always liked streaming. That's why that's why I enjoy doing this now. Uh, let's see. GJ is tapping into that five minute demand right now. Does the five minute demand have a one minute? I think I look. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, tapping into the five minute demand now. Um, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna go up and fill in the gap and maybe tap the supply and hopefully we respect off the supply. That's what I'm definitely looking looking to take. JJ rejection on the demand. Yeah, I can't, I can't get in the demand though. It's news now. I can only trade in 10 minutes because of this platform's rules. JJ looks solid though. Same with Nas. Nas makes sense for it too. I'm going to just close these two because... Actually, I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep your study open because... Uh, let's, let's do this. Okay, wait. Close Chigi Room. Okay. This is what I'm looking at. These, these three. Let's see what happens. So we got Nas, 
Can you guys see it? Okay, you guys can't see it. My face cam. Where can we put the face cam? Top left or top right? Okay, I guess we're blocking US 30. So there we got NAS, we got GJ, and we got US 30 while we're waiting. Okay, this this is news right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, GJ is still valid. It didn't break out on, on trading view yet. It looks odd over here, though. I'll tell you guys when GJ gets break a candle. I'm, I can't enter it though. I'm I'm dead. I'm not entering on GJ even if it gets break a candle. I cannot. Else I lose the account. So I have to wait uh, another ten minutes. I think if GJ if it breaks this candle there, then it gives a break a candle. It just looks weird because of news. Uh, let's see. I think GU might have, yeah, okay, so GU supplies valid, so I'm up, actually, we, we gotta put four, we gotta have all the pairs back. Okay, so GU's got a supply as well, at the moment that it just created up there. That news was weak as shit, did not do anything. So we just gotta be patient now. So we got, we got a GU supply, NAS supply, US30 supply, GJ demand, and a supply. Okay, I, I don't think, she did a mon's gonna hold. It looks like it's actually about to break out of it, so it's not even valid. I think let's put it. Okay, yeah, it's about to break out. Okay, yeah. It's about to break out. It's like right there. And that might be it. Okay, there we go. GJ is invalid now. We're just gonna delete that. And just put and calculate. And then delete that. Okay. This is not what we're waiting for. Let's put trading view away as well. Okay. This is what we're waiting for. Let's see. I doubt anything else is going to happen. I, mean, I think NAS looks like it's prepared to drop some more. Yeah. Okay, maybe, what, what is GU doing? I think GU just grabbed liquidity. Yeah, okay. GU grabbed liquidity, so that's, the supply is not valid. Don't wanna take a supply if we're grabbing liquidity. Unless if it closes um, below these wicks here. GJ's also got nothing. I think today it might just be a no trade day. I do want to kind of call it as well. Because I want to go to gym. Supply and demand kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Supply and demand has been really good previously, but recently, I won't lie, it, it, it sucks. Recently, supply and demand sucks. I won't, I, won't even, I won't even lie to you. Recently, supply and demand is... 
just not it. But last year, Subhanamon was hitting. Like last year was a really good year. Okay, GU still might be valid on the supply. But yeah, this year definitely Spinamon sucks. Okay, GU is still valid, so let's see. I think in if we don't get GU pullback, there's actually two supplies on GU. If GU doesn't pull back because I don't see anything else, I'm just gonna close the charts. I'm gonna wait until twenty past, twenty past ten. If nothing pulls back, I'm closing charts and I'm going to gym. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to close the charts if nothing pulls back. I think we're gonna wait on this top zone on GU if that doesn't hold or if that doesn't get tapped I'm, I'm calling it a day so this is the last thing I'm waiting on yep I'm uh, I might as well just put this big chart and wait yep last thing I'm waiting on I wonder, has Doyle taken anything? Um, let me check his story real quick. I wonder if Doyle took anything. Nope, Doyle hasn't taken anything by the looks of it. Honestly, I think I'm a I'm a call it a day. I won't lie to you guys. I think I think I'm gonna call it a day. Do you not coming back to that zone? Yeah, I don't think I don't think anything's coming back. Maybe Nas. If Nas close below this, below that low, then we have a supply as well on Nas. Um, if yeah, if it closes below the low. Then we got a supply on this. G you stop me out by a perp then hit TP. What did you what did you enter in on on G U? I would like to know what you entered on in G U. For me there's been nothing. I've just, I've just been waiting patiently. Closes, we should be good. It's 30 seconds till camera close. Let's see.
Okay, I think I think NASA. No, shit. No, NASA is invalid. NASA closed above the bottom of the previous week, so that's a liquidity grab. As of now. I'm <laughs> actually, bro. <laughs> what is this price action? What is this price action? Oh. This has got to be some of the worst price action I've ever seen in my life. Has to be some of the worst price action I've ever seen. Like, bro, where's... Like, there's actually no way it's moving like this. <laughs> there's no way we're moving like this. There's a GJ liquidity grab. <laughs> if anyone wants to take that, there's a valid GJ liquidity grab. I'm, I'm not taking that though. If, I mean, if it closes above, obviously. There's a GJ liquidity grab mixed with like a support there. If anyone is willing to, to risk that. But let's see if it's even valid though. It needs to, it needs to close above that bottom wick. If it doesn't do that, it's invalid. Let's see. Um, I mean, I guess there's the same thing on, on US30. I mean, US30 is more of a support right there. That, that's a support setup on, on US30. I wonder, is GJ in like a demand on the higher time frame? See, maybe maybe AU got nothing. EU got nothing. Um, UJ got nothing. Yeah. I think today's just gonna be a no trade, just like yesterday. GJ actually might GJ might throw like a liquidity grab there or uh, mix with like a support it looks like it might end up being valid or, or closing valid I need to get a face cam it's so annoying trying to angle my MacBook I need to get a face cam. Yeah, G GJ is valid. Looks like it just grabbed liquidity pushing up. Next candle's in what, 13 seconds? And it's a tiny stop. It's like a 10 pip stop. But it just looks very small. Um, let's see, it just gave break a candle as well, I believe. Yeah, just just get break a candle. Let's watch that. Let's see how let's see how GJ plays. I don't really think that's gonna hold though. I think we're gonna blow right through that.
Wait. Is stream still alive? The charts look like they froze. I gotta fix that real quick. Okay, wait, let me, uh, the charts froze. Let me, hold up, let me, let me just fix that real quick. If I can. Uh, okay. I'm just fixing the charts quickly. Um, it, it froze. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is also, seems like it's bugging a bit. Just, just give me a, a second. Delete this one. Okay, you guys should be seeing the recent price. I'm gonna fix my face cam now as well. If you just give me a second. <clears throat> life of a trader facts. This is this is the life of a trader. Okay, yeah, everything looks fine. Let me just fix the face cam. I don't know, it, it happens sometimes where the chart freezes. And then FaceTime, FaceCam, FaceCam. There we go, okay. Everything. Everything, wait, that's, that, that is not right, okay. There we go. Everything should be fixed now. Let's see. GJ is actually about to give, actually GJ looks quite, it doesn't look the worst. Um, NAS is also looking like it's pushing up. NAS actually might be the one throwing a liquidity you have, the key. Yeah, NAS actually just gave break a candle for the liquidity you have. US30 also gave break a candle f for the support. Let's see. I'm definitely not taking it either because I, I don't know how confident I am in taking the quitty grabs. I haven't taken one in months. The last time I took a liquidity grab was in December. Or it was, no, it was definitely December. So I'm, I'm definitely not where I want to be with, with taking a, a liquidity grab. But NAS actually looks pretty solid. I, I, NAS looks pretty solid. Looks like it's probably gonna touch the supply maybe. And then I'm gonna guess because we're grabbing the quitty, maybe break through that supply. Let's see. GJ also the same thing. looks like the liquidity grab might end up winning. Yep. We finally looking like we're picking back up momentum on, on mass. Nas in a one hour demand? Okay. Never mind, that makes the liquidity grab even more valid. I won't lie. Nas liquidity grab looks pretty solid, but it's also in a one hour demand, so that makes it even more valid. So Nas, Nas liquidity grab looks solid with the one hour demand confluence, but there is a Nas liquidity grab, but not taking any liquidity grab. Yeah, I feel you. I'm with you, Fred. It looks bad, I got it mocked up. But I don't like liquidity grabs at the moment. I haven't taken one in months. I think I'm cool to, to take one as well. GG looks like it could lose now after giving break a candle. <sighs> oh. No 
or trade day probably. Yeah, I think I'm honestly just about to close the shots. There's nothing I'm waiting on. There's nothing I'm going to take. I'm not taking a liquidity grab. I'm not taking a steady support. GU is not coming back. I have a pretty good feeling. I think Doyle's taking Nas. I think Doyle might hop in Nas liquidity grab. I have, I have a pretty big feeling about that. I don't know. Because of the one hour demand. I think Doyle might take that. GJ. Hey, it's got three good re uh, rejections. She's got three good rejections from grabbing the liquidity. Let's see how that plays out. Oh, Doyle story, no trade there. Oh, let me, I didn't really see. Oh, there, yeah, no trades placed today. Let's see what he says. And that's all she wrote, bro. So I didn't place a trade today. None of the subs looked that good. It was a gold demand today, but it was too close to news. I didn't want to take that chance. Y'all know how Friday is. I hate losing on Fridays. And, um, yeah, bro, I made a lot of money on Tuesday. Tuesday was that big day that I had when I re-entered off of gold. So gold really is the reason why I became profitable this week. But, um, yeah, we got to keep it going, bro. NASDAQ still haven't done nothing all week, bro. Even today, it was breaking through zones, not holding at any zones at all, so... Go the main reason why I came out green this week. Yeah, you see, if, if Doyle took the trade, if, if Doyle just traded the same pairs like that he normally trades, the four that I have now, he would have been unprofitable. But since I might have to do a little bit of research into gold, but I've never liked gold. So I, I think I'm probably going to leave that. Um, Nas could win. GJ also could win. US30 also could win. Ass looks okay right now. Yeah, I think I think I'm cool. I'm I'm an end stream here, guys. There's no reason for me to to stay. I hope you guys have a good weekend. No trade a day again. I only took one trade this week and I was a loser. So yeah, I think I'm cool. I'm I'm ahead to gym now. I hope you guys have a blessed day, blessed weekend, and I'm gonna see you guys on Monday. Yeah, G GJ looks like it's pushing up now. So GJ could maybe be the winner of today, but there was no setups today. Nothing I got into. Losing week because I only took one trade this week, but yeah, I'm cool. I'm out there. You guys have a good weekend.